Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to learn the difference between many and much. Let's get started. We use many if the noun is countable. We use much if the noun is non-countable. What does that mean? Hmm, let's have a look. Countable is something that is easy to count. Non-countable is something that is hard or impossible to count. Who can give me an example for a countable noun? Apples. Great work. Apples are easy to count. That makes apples a countable noun. You would say, how many apples are there? There are three apples on the board. Can you think of another example? Pencils. That's right, pencils. How many pencils do you see on the board? You got it, there are five pencils on the board. Can you think of one more example for a countable noun? Chair. You got it. Chair is another countable noun. You would say, how many chairs are on the board? There are two chairs on the board. Next, we will learn to use much. We use much for non-countable nouns. Can you give me an example of a non-countable noun? Rain. Well done! Rain is a non-countable noun. You would say, how much did it rain today? Can you think of some more examples? Sand. Great work! Sand is also a non-countable noun. You would say, there is so much sand at the beach. Great work! Let's think of one more example. Water. That's right! Water! You would say, how much water are you going to drink? Let's move on. Some more examples of countable nouns are Kids. How many kids are in a classroom? Lollipop. How many lollipops do you want? Flowers. How many flowers are there in a pot? Some examples of non-countable nouns are money. You would say, how much money do you have? Yogurt. How much yogurt is in that container? Milk. How much milk do you want to drink? You did amazing today. Well done. That will be all for this lesson. I will see you next time. Bye! By the end of this lesson, I know the difference between countable and non-countable nouns. I know the difference between many and much. I know how to use much and many appropriately.